welcome back to glory for Benka. thank you for stopping by in today's video i'll be making nigerian concussion rice so let's get cooking first i parboil the rice once it boils i'll take it off from the heat and wash it with cold water i cover to cook now i blend some tomatoes shombo and totashi In a dry pot on heat, I add in palm oil. I do not allow this oil bleach. I just allow it sizzling for a minute. Then I add in chopped onions. I stir in. I do not allow it bleach because I don't want it to change the color of the concussion rice. And I allow it sizzling so that the oil will not be coming to the mouth when you're eating the rice. I stir fry this for a minute. A minute later, I add in iru locust bean. I stir in. This iru gives a very unique taste to your concussion rice. But if you cannot bear it, you might leave it out. I stir fry this for a minute also. Now I add in the blended peppers, shombo, tatashi, and tomatoes. Then I stir it in. Shombo is also known as paprika peppers, while tatashi is known as bell peppers. I will allow this fry for 5 minutes because I want the tomato and the peppers to be dry. 5 minutes later, the tomatoes and peppers are well dried now. You can see the oil sizzling on top. I will go ahead and add in blended crayfish. Add in black chili pepper, add as much as you can bear. I stir in, add in salt, I add in two seasoning cubes, break it in so that nobody will be chewing on your seasoning. I stir in, I always say that your seasoning should be proportional to the quantity of food you're cooking. If you're not sure of the Measurements you add in little per time and taste as you cook along. Now I add in diced pomo. I've washed this pomo with hot water and salt, and there is no smell in it. And I'll stir it in into the sauce. I want it to soak up all the ingredients. I add in smoked catfish and smoked panla fish. You can use any fish of your choice. Then I stir them in. I washed and shredded the fish. I'll cover and I'll allow this cook for two minutes. Two minutes later, the fish and pomo has infused their flavors into the sauce. I added in a little water, but let me add the parboiled rice first. I mix the parboiled rice into the sauce. And this will let me know the actual quantity of water to top up. Now I top in water to be at the same level with the parboiled rice. I stir this in again. Now I'll taste for the salt and seasoning. Mine came out perfect. You can go ahead and taste and adjust yours if need be. The water being at the same level with the parboiled rice will help the rice not to be soggy or burnt before the rice is tender enough. By the way, I'm using long grain rice for this recipe. I'll cover this and allow it cook on medium heat till the water dries. This is about 10 minutes later and this rice has dried. I add in scent leaves. Then I'll stir this in. Scent leaves gives a very good flavor to Nigerian concussion rice. Look at this beautiful color. Please subscribe to my channel if you've not done so. It's absolutely free. You will not be charged a dime for doing that. Please also like and share this video. Thank you very much. I'll mix this all in properly. I'll cover this and allow it sizzling for a minute. A minute later, 
I give you the final step. Wow, our concussion rice is ready. I hope you try this and let me know in the comment section how it came out for you. This tastes so delicious. Our concussion rice is ready. Come and join me. Thank you for watching and see you in my next video.